up, love? How you doing? How was your week? Know you been stressed lately. I'm here whenever you wanna speak. Tough day at work, let's get it on, my little freak. It all started with an innocent kiss right on the cheek. Then, uh, may I take you out? And let's just paint the town red. Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. My name's Carla for those of you that are new. I make motherhood and lifestyle vlog videos here on YouTube. I'm also pregnant and ready to pop. I'm due in a few weeks. Um, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure you subscribe because I'll be having a baby very soon so you can follow along my journey. Uh, but today I'm bringing you my what's in my hospital bag video um, for baby number two. So I've done this before. I've delivered um, I'm delivering at the same hospital as I did the last time so I know like what the hospital provides and what they don't and I have an idea of like you know what you actually do need to pack um, so yeah I had a really good idea this time when I was packing my hospital bag I wrote my own list and yeah my bags are separated for what I'm bringing for myself and for the baby so I've got one bag for the baby and one bag for myself um, so I'll firstly go through um, what I'm bringing for myself so for myself I've just got this um, small hand luggage and I used this for Devon's birth and it was perfect great size I've actually got a sticker here um, for what to bring on the day so these are things that aren't actually packed but that I need to bring um, so I'll go through that after but yeah let's first go through what I have in here so I plan on staying in the hospital for about well, I would like to stay for at least one night or two, um, so I've packed for two nights. Um, so firstly, in this side of the bag, I have a big water bottle because although the hospital, they give you like a litre jug and a cup, when you're like first breastfeeding, you get so so thirsty and um, that jug really doesn't cut it so this is a liter as well so that i can have like two liters and then i can like have one on the go and whatnot so that is this big water bottle uh, very important not to forget that the next thing is these nursing bras these are from kmart they were 19 dollars for these and they still need to be washed but um yeah they're really good ones I've used these ones before uh, I just got a couple of new ones and yeah they're great they've got the little clip here so you can feed baby nice and easily and yeah absolutely love them Kmart's really good for nursing bras and like maternity but you know nursing vests and things like that and um, love Kmart for that um, I also have a bonds one here in a pink colour um, so I've got grey, pink and black, just in case um, I'm going to be wearing these the whole time. So yeah, we've got three nursing bras. I've got this pair of pyjamas, which is a really lovely, cosy, button-up um, long pyjamas. It's now, I'll be delivering in July, end of June, and that's winter now. I've even got the heater on here, that's why the, the lighting looks funny. Um, it's really cold. So I've got these with the long pants, and they're like a brushed cotton, and they're so, so comfy. They're from Kmart, and also button up is important, so it's easy to breastfeed. The next thing is some flip flops, and these are just some cheapy ones. These are also from Kmart. Um, just to walk around in if I want to go in the shower with flip-flops um, that's these then I've packed another pair of pajamas just in case um, if in case one gets dirty or if I stay longer than I expect like if I have a c-section or something um, this is a long nighty and this is also button up from Kmart as well very comfy I had this in the hospital with, with me when I had Devon so I know that they're good and I also got some um, super over the knee socks to have with those just in case my legs get cold so there's the socks I've also got another pair of fuzzy socks for I don't know just because <laughs> my feet get cold um, so that's just an extra pair and then I've got this small um, like a silky robe so maybe if I come out of the shower, I can wear this. Or if I don't fancy wearing clothes, 
Um, like when I had Devon, I liked to just be in a bra um, and nothing on top because it was just kind of annoying to like in the day to wear a t-shirt and like keep lifting it up and stuff. So I was just in a bra all the time when I was in hospital. So I thought I'd bring a robe this time just so I can cover myself up. And then I've got this extra large phone charger. It's um, not extra large, extra long. Because <laughs> um, uh, everybody says to pack these and yeah, like your bed's here and then the charger's like up on the wall. So it's good to have this because I'll probably be on my phone quite a lot bored breastfeeding um and then i've got this recovery band that goes around my stomach i had pretty bad muscle separation um with devon and i think i've got it again this time i can already feel like um on top of my abdomen i can feel that it's not quite right there i can feel a bit like a bit of numbness and whatnot so i've got this um just to help suck myself back in once i've had the baby so yeah, this is just, I got this off of Amazon when I had Devon. There are three different straps so you can decide how tight you want it and um, where you want it the tightest. So definitely bring in that. And then I've got my coming home outfit, which is nothing exciting. It is literally just a nursing vest. Um, this is from Kmart and yeah, it's just a, a nursing vest top. These are so handy. So you can nurse your baby and yeah so I've got that and then with that just some black leggings just plain black leggings and then I'll put like a, a coat or a cardigan on over the top of that and then that'll be fine I'll be comfortable in that okay and now on the other side I've got so I've got my um, makeup bag now this wasn't actually packed I had a sticker on here to say what I wanted to pack in here um, but I was in the hospital last night to get an assessment and they did say to bring the hospital bags just in case so I was frantically running around and getting everything together so including this um, little makeup bag so I've written here what I want to bring so it's just like uh, my blender sponge concealer loose powder powder brush um, my all over face powder, bronzer, bronzer brush, blush, blush brush, eyebrow brush, eyebrow pomade, mascara, um, my Superstay lipstick and my other pink lipstick. <laughs> um, that's just what I wear on my face every day, that's what I've got on my face today. So I plan to pack some makeup because I don't know how long I'm going to be in there. I, you know, It takes me five minutes to do my face anyway so i thought why not have it if i use it cool if i don't cool fine whatever um but yeah so that's that i'm gonna unpack this now because i will be um using the products until i deliver i'm 36 weeks so i've still got time to you know want to use my makeup but yeah that's why i've got the sticker on here so that at the time i know exactly what i need the next thing is my absolute holy grail if you take anything from this video take this is these depends underwears <laughs> they're like disposable underwear and they are just so comfortable for after pushing out your baby they just i don't know they they're really like soft and what i did with devon and i plan to do this time is so this is the other thing of these um, maternity pads is to put a pad in these underwear and then if you do leak through the pad um, it will go into this underwear and then it's okay you just throw these underwears away and yeah they're really really comfortable I absolutely love them and I'm excited to use these again um, and any maternity pads to be honest would work but these are the ones I got they were on special at um, Coles so I got them while they were on special I think these were on special when I got them as well so yes depends and maternity pads are the best I haven't actually packed any underwear, um, like normal cotton underwear, because honestly I won't need it. And then lastly is my toiletries bag. I will go through what I'm bringing. Um, so in my toiletry bag, I've got a separate bag and this is full of like breastfeeding supplies because if you've breastfed before, you know that it's really, really painful at the beginning. Um, so definitely need 
these things. So I've got these are the Laniso. Um, I don't even know what they're called, but you can have them hot or cold. I'll open them up. They're in bags at the moment, but they're like these beads. And you can, yeah, either heat them up or you can put them in the freezer and they will help with, um, you know, the feeling of getting engorged or even though my milk probably won't come while, come in while I'm in the hospital, uh, just in case it does. I think it comes in on day three, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, we'll see what happens this time, but I thought it'd be good to have these because they really are really nice and soothing on your boobs when your boobs are sore. Um, and then I've just got some nursing pads. Um, I got, I brought my, um, non-disposable ones, my reusable ones. I can't remember what brand these are, but um i thought i'd bring these and then i've got these right aid ones um mainly not so much to catch um milk but i always kept these on in my nursing bras because i would wear uh this nipple balm so this is the gaia nipple balm i really love the brand gaia it's natural and this one it's lanolin free it contains Pure natural organic carrot seed and avocado oils to help soothe and protect the delicate nipple area. Um, and yeah, there's, it's just a, a really nice brand. I used the same one with Devon. This is a new one. Um, but yeah, once you put this on, um, it's quite like oily. So I would put a breast pad over the top and then it would protect my bra or whatever. So that is all of my like breastfeeding supplies that I'm bringing to the hospital. And then I've got a small hairbrush. This is from Kmart. I've got a couple of scrunchies and some tight elastics because the scrunchies, um, they they put your hair up, but it's loose. Um, but if I want but if I want my hair to be up tighter, like how it is today, I have to wear these kinds of um, hair bands. So I brought those. I've got a shampoo and conditioner in one i don't often wash my hair i wash it like once a week um maybe twice a week so i don't know if i'll feel like washing my hair but if i do i've got this um just the two in one um and i've got this body wash palm olive body wash i've got a toothbrush a face washer some face cleansing wipes some toothpaste a deodorant a lip balm for lotion, I decided to use this baby lotion that I don't use on Devon. It's a Johnson's one because um, I'd rather have like a, a baby lotion on me rather than like a scented one. And then a razor. Just in case I feel like, you know, you never know. Maybe my labour will be really, really long and I'll be, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go, but I like to have shaved legs and shaved down there. So we'll see what happens, but I'm bringing it. There's no harm in bringing a razor. I'm not saying that I'm going to use it, but just in case I want to. So that's everything that is in my bag. And then just on the front, I've got to remember um, to bring the baby's capsule, which I don't know if, if we'll bring that at the time. It depends what happens. But because I plan on staying at least for one night, I think that'll be something that Tyler can just bring the next day. So that's not too necessary. Um, I need to bring my camera, SD card and charger because I plan on vlogging my birth. Um, pack the makeup bag. I need my pregnancy folder, my notes, which I actually keep in the car now because um, I had an appointment yesterday and I forgot my folder, which was really annoying. If it was in my car, then I wouldn't have forgotten it. So yeah, that stays in the car anyway. Um, and then just a cardigan or a coat for like coming home. So that's that. Oh, and also snacks. <laughs> I haven't bought the snacks yet, but I do plan on getting just a little bag of snacks from Coles or Woolies. I'm planning on bringing something like flapjacks, chocolate, um, maybe some chips, whatever I fancy. Just like little nibbly bits because I absolutely love hospital food. Um, so I'll definitely be eating the meals that they give me. But if in, in the night I'm breastfeeding or whatever and I get hungry, it'll just be snacks for like in the night. I'll try and get like healthy stuff, but I need things that aren't going to like go out of date. Anyway, I don't know what snacks I'm bringing yet, so, so I'll decide sometime soon. 
But anyway, that's everything in this bag. And now for the exciting part, which is the baby's bag. Um, so the first thing I'm bringing is this pillow. It's a breastfeeding pillow and it goes around your stomach. And then you can hold the baby on there and feed. And it's just so good. I loved this with Devon when he was a newborn. Because also, when I wanted to put him down, but I didn't want to put him in his bassinet. This was at the hospital. I would just lay the pillow like this. And then put him here and I'd just stare at him, just like this. And he was all comfy cosy in this little breastfeeding pillow. So this is from Kmart, if you were wondering, and it's been really, really good. Absolutely love it and definitely bringing that to the hospital. So the first thing I'm bringing for baby are some cotton buds. Uh, not cotton buds, cotton balls. Um, just a pack of those, just in case I don't want to use wipes on the baby or if he's got sensitive skin or maybe he's got something on his face and I want to get it off. Cotton balls um, so I can just use some water uh, with those. And then I've got two muslins. So that's those ones. Two muslins, two burp cloths and these are the terry toweling nappies. Everybody in the world on these forums and Facebook groups and everything who um, tell you like you know, baby must-haves, is these Terry nappies to use as like burp cloths and to wipe up spills and stuff. And they're really good. These were from Kmart and they're huge. It's just like a towel. <laughs> um, but I can so see myself using these for absolutely everything. When I would feed Devon, when my milk came in and I had lots of milk, I would always tuck a muslin cloth into my bra, but I'll probably put this in my bra now instead because it's a lot more absorbent than the muslin was. The muslin would get wet really fast. I've then got a handful of nappies. The hospital do provide um, nappies, but I wanted to bring these as well um, just in case because they do say um, to bring nappies to the hospital. Um, yeah, they've got them there, but um, yeah, I, I, I wanted to bring my own anyway, just in case. I've got about 12, 13 nappies here and these are the Rascal and Friends. These are the ones we use on Devon. <laughs> but not so small. These are so tiny and when I compare them to Devon's, Devon's come down to like here. They're so small. I love them. But yeah, so um, got some nappies. And then I've got some wipes as well, pack of wipes. These are the Curash water wipes. I haven't used these before, um, but they are 99% water wipes. But yeah, if I don't want to use wipes on the baby, I've got the cotton balls there as well. And then I've sorted out my baby's outfits into like piles with blankets. So in this one, I've got this um, this blanket, which is a lovely, cute, blue knitted blanket that I can wrap him up in. Um, and underneath the blanket, he will be swaddled because... Devon loved to be swaddled, so hopefully this baby does. This is just a bamboo swaddle. And the midwives can do it for me because I'm not very good at swaddling like this. <laughs> but yeah, these this swaddle is so nice and soft. I absolutely love it. And then to go with that blanket and that swaddle is this outfit. <laughs> um, so I've got him a little long sleeve vest to go underneath and then I've got this sweet little blue plain ribbed um, onesie and this is from Best and Less and it also has a hat to match which is so sweet. I love a onesie with a matching beanie. So that's that with the vest underneath, the swaddle and the blanket so that's one. And then the next one I've got this blanket which is like a cream knitted blanket and then I've got this swaddle and this is a Velcro swaddle, which I'm a pro at. <laughs> you can't go wrong. Um, they're by the brand Baby Studio. We used these with Devon and absolutely loved them. I didn't know how good they were when I had Devon and I didn't bring them to the hospital because I didn't know how I would go. And as soon as we got home from the hospital, I used these ones and they were incredible. So this is this pattern it's like a it's like a i don't know that's the pattern on it it's like a, it's got a sage green um and then to go underneath that i think this will probably be like a first outfit type thing like when he first comes out and needs to put like a little something on but not like a full-on outfit 
Um, so I've got this vest, which is like a like a oatmeal, is it? Oatmeal colour. And then a matching teddy bear hat. <laughs> and also these little socks. <laughs> Choosing the outfits to bring to the hospital was my favourite thing in the world. Such a hard decision, oh my goodness. I've gone back and forth a million times and it may still change, but this is what I've got down at the moment. <laughs> and then I've got this other swaddle that I can use whenever. Um, but yeah, if the midwives aren't there to use the other swaddle for me, because I cannot wrap those swaddles for the life of me. I've just got another one of the Baby Studio swaddles, and this is in a cloud print, which is so cute. I absolutely love this swaddle. And then I've got this Bonds Got It All Covered set, and that's literally what it is. It's um, It's got everything that you would need for a newborn. This is in the size Premature five zeros. All the other stuff I'm bringing is four zeros. Um, but Bonds always comes up a little bit big, so even if baby um, is a little bit taller, it's okay because Bonds Bonds does come up a little bit bigger. And in this Got It All Covered set, has pretty much everything. They have, there's a little beanie, and it's all this white ribbed material, it's lovely. So this beanie, this tiny little vest. These little trousers, with the little bonds there. A cosy suit. Two bibs. And a swaddle slash blanket, which is the same material. You cannot go wrong with all white absolutely love that little set that is so cute and then just because i had them and was dying over them i'm bringing this um these two things so there's this little knitted blue hat and these little knitted blue booties i don't know who knitted these i really don't i i don't know if it was my auntie or tyler's mum i don't know who knitted these someone in the family knitted these if you knitted these, comment down below. <laughs> but that's these, and they're just too cute to not bring to the hospital. Um, I feel like that would probably look cute with like something from the Got It All Covered set, but I haven't got an outfit specific for those. And then I've also got this cute little um, beanie. This is what Tyler bought. So it's just a sweet little beanie, and it's blue and white stripes. And then these little mittens that match. <laughs> And they are also blue and white stripe mittens. And then a blue and white stripe vest to go with it. So I guess that's another little outfit that I have, although it's not, it wasn't like a designated one, but it was one that I couldn't just leave at home. I had to bring it in the hospital bag just in case. And then last but not least, I've got a little dummy clip with his name on it. This is his first personalized thing and two little dummies. I'm using the Avent dummies this time. Um, so yeah, two of those and a dummy clip. Um, I don't know if I'll give him a dummy while I'm there at the hospital, but just in case I do, um, I'm packing those. And that is everything for baby. So thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful if you're expecting a little one. Um, but yeah, these are definitely my must haves. I feel like I didn't go overboard, I packed just enough. So yeah, I hope that you found it beneficial to watch. Um, and if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe down below. I'm 36 weeks, so I'm due any time from now. But yeah, hopefully in about four weeks time, I'll have my baby. Uh, so yeah, make sure you stay subscribed because I'm keeping you guys updated on everything with baby. And remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! What's up?